Hello, hello everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild adventures. Last time, we went through and calmed Vonaboris, and uh, basically saved Gerudo Town. And now, at the very least, when it comes to doing, like, main, main, main things, all that's really left is Death Mountain and, I guess, the Sword Trials. And, well, at least as far as I can tell. We got all the memories. And, like, uh, any major quest that I've come across that interests me, I've done. I guess the first thing we might do is come over here just to... Like, uh, presumably take a picture of the eighth heroine, because I'm fairly certain that that is similar to, uh, these. And so that should be it. And we can at least take a picture of it and then come down to show the guy later if I ever want to. Like, not sure about exploring the desert, might, might not, but the one thing that we will definitely do is first uh, turn in the Korok Trials quest. Forgot to do that. I thought the reward was the shrines themselves. And then we're gonna do another Master Sword Trial, at the very least. Try that. And then we might just try to make our way into Death Mountain to Goron City. So first things first, we'll take a picture of the eighth heroine, go do sword trial, and then we'll just see about it. It really does feel like I'm getting closer to the end of Breath of the Wild. For some reason, I thought it would take me forever to do it all. Granted, we are 12 streams in. So, overall, like, not insubstantial. Granted, compare that to, like, my Persona 3 playthrough that I've paused for now, where we're basically over episode 10 now, and we're not even, like, a third through the game. Video game timings are amusing. Granted, there's, like, a ton of, like, quests that I could do. Like, I do want to help Terrytown or whatever it is. That little town that the, like, home construction company guy set me on. But I have no idea where a Goron with the, like, last, with son in their name is... I'm not sure if he's specifically found in the Goron City. I don't know if it's a traveling Goron. I've talked to a f good few Gorons, and none of them have had the name Sun at the end. So who knows? The real question is, why is the 8th heroine all the way in here? Why would the people who made, like, the first... Not to mention, um, I assume you're supposed to be wielding a sword. So... And I could have sworn that, like, I originally saw, like, a sword. How dare you? Die. Fiend. Fiendish monster. Bomb. Where'd you even come from? I was taking a picture. Jerk. Monster. Fiend. Fly. Just 
came out of nowhere. Well, off we go. Uh, first to turn in the Korok Trial Quest. Because again, thought the shrines themselves were the reward. And then we're gonna... See about trying to power up our Master Sword a little bit. If I fail the Master Sword trial, because I believe there should be three. Like, who knows? Maybe we'll start it, do the second one, and maybe go to Goron City, do some stuff. And then maybe come back and do the third at the end, maybe. It's hard to tell, because I have to, like, guesstimate... How intense <laughs> the third one will be. Why'd you finished all the trials? That's amazing. You're so cool. Ah, I know that look. You want me to give you something since you visit all the places, don't you? I guess I have no choice. I'll give you my treasured item. It's three big hearty truffles. Try eating a dish cooked with that big hearty truffle. It'll soothe all your aches and pains and then some. I'm not pulling your branch here. Just try it for yourself. Why does... Uh, not pulling your branch here sound a bit dirty. But I guess it also depends, like, uh, what the DLC has. Because I know the Master Quest is a DLC, which is basically super duper hard mode, I believe. And then I, I think that there are other, like, uh, DLC things that I haven't done. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's try the Middle Trials and see if they kick my ass. Kaboom! I explode into sparkles, into the mental realm. Which is kind of funny. It's like, ah, oh, this is an illusory place. Why couldn't we use these illusions to fight Ganon? They stole my shit again. To the Blade's chosen hero, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer the trial of the sword. You must acquire still more power to wield the true splendor of the Master Sword. And you must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. In this illusory realm of sacred mystery, anything can happen. All that you obtain here will be lost upon your return to the reality you know. Chosen hero of the Master Sword, overcome the trial of the sword and claim the sword's true splendor. Technically, I can, like, shoot one. Well, no, I can't really, unless I do things. Oh, maybe I could actually make it if I went super fast. Or maybe this is just the limit. What if I threw this at the goblins? Not goblins. Well, technically, bot goblins. I'm here a wee bit, but that's because resources. Oops, some arrows. That's very nice. More arrows. Huzzah. Huh? 
Oh, I almost did make it. trying because it seems possible that I can like bounce up using the wind as like a little bit of wee momentum. So if I... Darn. Hmm. So they don't have any fire arrows. <laughs> ah, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Gib. <laughs> I was just like, right as I say, and I don't have any fire arrows. Immediately fire arrows. You jokester. Jolly jokesters. Is that a whiz robe up there that I see? It is. It's a bastard. Here to kill you and me. Let me just uh, poke you to death. Take your shit. I almost killed myself because of that bastard. He knocked it into me. So now the question is, do I waste some of my foods? Or do I wait for a hopeful middle place? How dare you turn around in time? Illegal in 50 billion years. Lots of arrows to deal with the whiz robe. Oh no, you have a fancy robe, so maybe you're not even a whiz robe. Maybe you're something special. Maybe you're something scary. Oh, there's two of them. That's my favorite thing in the world. If you fall to your death, oh, you landed on a platform. No. Please die. Well, it teleported away. So either a permanent death or lol, you didn't actually kill it. Because I think part of it is, oh, if you kill them, you can use their flame rods or whatever rather than fire arrows, but they have a lot of health, so personally. Don't mind using one fire arrow in uh, comparison. Then again, it's possible that some people might have missed the, the fire arrows. Entirely possible. And, uh, just an arrow over here. I'll take that. <laughs> Free arrow! Now the problem is, uh, since I blew myself up, gotta survive with a few... only a few hearts. This is what happens when you, you <laughs> subscribe to the... Lands of Bomb. Oh, that's not very nice now, is it? Very not nice! Also scary of these guys. Dang it! Why didn't you get, like, stunned when I wanted you to? Mostly my fault because I used bombs willy-nilly. 
but still a little annoying that the enemies are just like, no, I'm not gonna be stunned. I'm a level two bacoblin. So just minor annoyance there. Wish there was just a, hey, can I just restart the trials button? Because I doubt they let you save in there. Because here it makes sense. Still don't know why they don't let you save in the Yiga clan hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you know it was me? Illegal. Take that and fly away. Come down here for a spear. These open for resources. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of you. Because I don't want you getting in the way. Forget if that even... If those even dropped anything. But I didn't want to accidentally hit it and explode myself. Get smacked. As I take your stuff. Rude. How dare you hit me with just the tip. Give on to me, your spear is now mine. Not as an efficient go through. As the first time, but we'll take what we can get. Oh, and this one only gave me two fire arrows. That's a bit rude. That's a bit odd. So some of the loot is randomized to some degree, which is annoying. Last one gave me ten fire arrows, so kind of dumb if you ask me. And once again, I very much lack like resources. Oh, shall not. Oh, you saw me, didn't you? Fall to your death. Thank you. Why'd that bounce so much? Rude. Stuff is now mine. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> do not want to deal with you personally. Concerning, I just, I don't think that, like, getting a fire, that's kind of weird that it moved my thing like that. Stop your bouncing. Let's see. 
But yeah, just like, I don't think getting a big old fire rod is worth, like, the potential death of taking, like, powerful whizrobe flames. Or just, like, the, like, cost of... What the fuck? Okay, still a little bit odd. your evils. And that one without a bow is all that is left. Ah, yeah, I got ice arrows. That's nice. Drop you, since you're partially used. But I guess the reason why that Bacoblin didn't get stunned in the first run-through I did was probably because I was using a very weak weapon. So, like, each Bacoblin probably has their own individual... Oh, I thought that might be a thing. <laughs> I'm just thinking of, like, a... Let's see. Are you over this? I wonder if I could... Just take the metal off. No, that seems too far away. But what I could probably do is... Yeah. And time to break my foot. And there's another box over here that I missed. We shall take. Yeah, well, as I was saying before I got distracted, more than likely each Bacoblin or, like, just enemy has a base armor rating. And similar to the shields, where if a shield gets hit by a weapon, the stronger the weapon, the more likely it is to break their guard, similar to that. Oh, I see a guardian! <laughs> Fuck. Shit. Stop! Oh no! Shit! <laughs> Stop! What if I was just above you? All right. Uh. Still horrifying that that happens. Just hitting it makes it angry. <laughs> I'll take that. Why do I have the feeling that in the third, like the upper layer or whatever, like what do I mean? What even is the purpose of those bomb barrels? What are they gonna give me? What are bomb barrels gonna give me in this this place of hell? Yeah, I don't wanna do that. I just like that it's going crazy. Hold still. All right. 
Stop going crazy. The real question is, why did a single balloon make it go up faster? I guess technically it is acting against the wind. But still. Those are very potent balloons. Yeah, because I don't think that I could, like, easily transport those bombs, bomb barrels across the platforms. And there doesn't seem to be, like, balloons that I couldn't make use of myself. And I am not so crazy as to try and deflect a laser without any armor. Okay. I need to be careful. I need to get that fairy. Gonna try and get that fairy by sneaking up on it. Still kind of bothersome that these things can run away. Don't even know what it's like facing direction is. Mine. And we'll use the one that we've been using to break open our resources. Let's see what's in here. A falcon bow, that's a 20. That's probably good enough to bring along. Gib. Then no armor. We got armor now, boys. Lumberjack Link is now cannon. And Knight's broadsword. Now we just have extra stuff all over the way. All over the way. And as usual, the fish shall become mine. They try to escape, but they cannot. Fear is the mind killer. It killed those fish. I did not. Let's see, what shall we cook? Because we've got mighty bananas. Amplifies. Uh, cooking amplifies healing, which is just normal, really. So I guess we'll take all these iron shrooms and cook them up into something decent. extra damage if we need it. Hmm, not sure how sneaking is going to be too helpful. Let's see. Increase health recovery as a ingredient. Movement speed. Yeah, nothing else really like stands out when it comes to like stats and stuff. From Twitch chat, howdy, how are we doing today? Doing the trial for the sword, middles, yep, the middle floors this time. I never did the DLC for Breath of the Wild. Kind of makes sense. Like, I don't even know all that much of, like, how much, like, uh, DLC there even is. Probably didn't need that that much. Just eat the simmered fruit. And then if we need extra stats in the midst of things, we'll eat those. Because I think when I originally played this, I might have just done the Trial of the Sword. Because I know there's like the Champion's Ballad, but I have no idea what goes into that. Oh. What the hell? Thank you. 
I need to be careful. I don't want to blow myself up again. I probably should have brought that torch, shouldn't I? Get out of here. Oh, and I guess that was all of them. Still very unnerving, the darkness, the evils. And now I'm gonna, like, uh, go around the perimeter and see it's like, ah, there was, like, a, a platform with treasure that I needed the, like, fire keys to make a fire with for and be able to fly. Where was there? I don't see any treasure. Usually these places, these rooms have treasure. Maybe there's just not in this one. Maybe they thought, nah, this one's just so easy and full of atmosphere. The real reward treasure is the atmosphere of darkness. Totally. The players will accept that. Gonna check this tree as well, just to make sure. Yeah, I guess so. At least now I think I can understand why there was... Like, sneak shrooms added. Be gone, Satan. Why are you so fast with flames? Jerk! God, it's so dark in here. The Power Rangers hit sparks are all that we can use. Let's see. Did you have a weapon with you? I guess it was made of wood. I'm from YouTube chat, hello, hello. <laughs> yep, the trail of the sword. Technically, the middle. The middle trial. Take that. I almost had a sneak strike on you. Spear! Spear! Face the power of the spear! Die, fiendish monster of flame! At least I'm stun-locking them. I definitely should have taken the torch. I, that would at least give me a bit more, like, uh, what's the word? Like, peace of mind. I feel. Well, now I have a torch. <laughs> right as I was saying. Don't think I'll use it much, but... Might, might not. And now for our typical look around the edge. Then again, the last one didn't have a treasure chest, so this one might not either. Maybe there's a treasure chest on top of the, the skull? Then again, this is the middle trial, so maybe the trials are just getting a bit more sparse with the treasure they give me. Could be, could be. Next room of darkness. Looks even more ominous. Why does this, like, a sword feel like a trap? Ah, great, more Wizrobe. Which one are you? A flame Wizrobe. Uh, would ice put out your flame?
And I thought I heard, like, uh, normal monster sounds. Let's see, my best... Dragon Bone Boko Bat, okay. Dodge. Get stabbed. I don't even know, like, what level of Boko you are. You're just a guy in the dark. Ow. At least I get a cooked, seared steak. I feel like that should give me multiple seared steaks. But who am I to complain? I'm alive and they're not. Oh, uh, he saw me. Uh, please. Yeah, goodbye. I'm so thankful that I just randomly had the thought to shoot a whiz robe with an elemental arrow one day. Because uh, these things freak me out. <laughs> And another Dragon Bone Boko Club. Goodbye. And now, well, all the way to my box busting axe. I'm almost surprised that there aren't, like, special trials, like, in the world where. The evil of Ganon blots out the, the, like, the moon. Forcing you to go in through, like, super darkness. Because it is very ominous to go through levels like that. In the pure darkness. Luckily, they're being kind of nice in the darkness. And now that I said that, I think I'm gonna be utterly annihilated in the darkness. I would not be surprised. Are oh, you kidding me, mate? Are oh, you, 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 you son of a bitch? Fuck. I see that motherfucker. Is it just him? <coughs> I guess it would make sense to a degree. Keep up the theme a bit. Because, uh, the last level of the, like, uh, I'm always angry. Because the last level of the previous segment did the same thing. Alright, I'm gonna use the giant Boko, because I hate you. Oh, it sees me, it's gonna fucking activate! Oh, there's walls! This is paranoia! This is nothing but fear! This is nothing but pain? And agony? Like, just look, like, trying to run away from that thing as it's locking on to me has got to be some of the most horrifying things. Legend of Zelda is a horror game. I swear. God help you if they ever decide to actually make. God damn it. I feel like those bomb barrels were just there. As a... a... a, a hell.
I should have just been shooting you from the start. No, I just did. Oh, I'm gonna use the environment. And now I'm down my fairy. Granted, I got through the last, like, uh, trial without the fairy, but... I've already died twice to this trial, so... I'm scared. Watch that be, like, the final thing, since, oh, the, the first one had only one... Well, no, this is gonna have... Nah, my, my theory's gone. But now I'm gonna think that this is gonna have two... Oh, you what a bastard. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, I love you. Oh, I hate you. You ugly son of a bitch. I'm scared, Billy. I can't see shit. All I can see is like the slight bit. Wandering around in the darkness. Filled with fear. I'm just gonna shoot you from a distance. This feels safer. I don't wanna get hit. I don't have a fairy. I don't have Mipha's grace. Son of a bitch! Oh, I can't see in the dark. Wait. Uh. Meteor rod. It's a, like a torch. Oh, now he's on fire. What'd you do? Idiot. This entire part just... Yeah, yeah. Fear and pain and fear and pain. Just doing it in pure darkness changes everything. I swear. Doing it all in darkness like changes all the vibes. All of them. There is no safety for the vibes. Oh, I'll have to go pick that up. The fact that they're giving me a lot of weapons scares me. Tells me that it's not over. Then again, if I go with my assumption that I didn't fully articulate, is I think there's going to be a second rest area. Bingo bongo. Because it's the middle trials, like level two overall. Not sure if that makes noise. Gonna sneak up on these fairies because I'm gonna need them. I've been getting my ass kicked by the demons in the darkness. Like if I can at least get one, that would be nice. Kind of mean that that one's floating high above the exit ramp. Come on down. Darn you. Come down here. Yes! Safety. We have some extra lives on our hands. An 11 damage spear. Gonna presume shirt, Hylian tunic. Lumberjack link no more. And then forest dweller sword, which is 22. Let's see. 
So I guess we'll take... Like that spear over that spear. And honestly, yeah. There we go. And from YouTube chat, hello, hello. Tonight we are braving the evils of the middle floor trials of the sword. And hoping that they don't annihilate me like they've already kind of have. So I guess hope they don't annihilate me even more. I have two fairies. So I'm almost afraid of what they might throw at me. Extra nice that they always give me three Hyrule base. Come on, give me that apple. Now the question is, what do I cook this time? I guess it's kind of obvious. We once again cook. Tank a bit more damage. One. And really the other ones are... Whatever. Just get more health cooking. Let's see. Boosts movement speed. Increases movement speed. So I'll cook those together. See what happens. It might come out terrible for all I know. Nope. Came out good. I guess I will cook a sneaky sneak just in case. And cook the last, the remains. And hope that uh, we make it through. We'll put on a better weapon. And get a move on to hell! Oh, no. Wait a minute, that's water. I can just electrocute them all to death. I forgot I unequipped. Uh, die. Oh, that's not how that works. At least they seem pretty simple to take down, but... I don't want to take too much health damage to these guys. Especially because these ones don't drop weapons. <laughs> but just see, like, uh, it's just ingrained in me whenever I see, out of nowhere, a guardian monster. I'm like, oh no! Danger. So just seeing a whole squad of them on the water, I figured, oh, if I shoot that water, the entire water will become electrified. Nope, not this kind of game. It co goes in an area. <laughs> it shows you how little I've utilized water as a weapon. But now I am far less scared of these things. Ah, uh, because you're a bit more scary, this one. And I have arrows galore. Get out of here. Let's see, guardian spear is like a... Uh, well, considering that we're probably going to run into more guardians. Have you on hand, plus I have another spear. Get smacked. You poked from far away, idiot. Meanwhile, Guardian Sword, much better. But I personally wouldn't mind dropping the Electro Bob. I don't, I don't use the wands. Watch this be another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. Where the wands are actually super duper good, and I'm just neglecting them. 
Oh, that's a big old battle axe. Oh no. What is your cat? You fuck! Stop shooting me, you whore! Bah! Just rapid fire shoot me in a corner when you have a giant axe? How dare you? At least this gives me the excuse to eat my mild one. Alright. Well, I don't think that there's really a way for me to get up these or to there. And again, these trials don't seem all that eager to throw treasure chests at me. So along we move. All right, these guys are on pedestals. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That's because the snipers do a little damage. Leave me alone! I don't want to fight you! I have your snipers to deal with! Yeah! I'm being hunted! Like an animal! Not nearly as scary, but still guardians. The attack. Okay, now we need to manage my inventory. Uh, obviously drop you, obviously drop you. Guardian swords. Let's see. Obviously drop you, and then do 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 do. Honestly drop you. From YouTube chat. Hello, are you family friendly? Eh. I'd like to say that I'm usually PG-13, but I do curse. And only very rarely do I really delve into raunchy. Like, either subject matter or jokes. So I guess just to play it safe, I'd say that I am a rated M video game overall. Like, not terribly much, but not so much of, like, not being one. Uh, then again, maybe I should be... Oh, yeah! Thank you! Two things. Being hunted by two at the same time... Oh. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I got super hit. Oh, mean. Nom. <laughs> I guess that those things are there so I could set fire to the beds of leaves and, like, have some safety. Get to the wall, Billy! I am being hunted by twin terminators with terrible aim. All right, one down. Yay. Let's see, what else do I want to use? What else do I want to use? I'll just, uh, hey, you have, you, you're gonna drop a sword. To, uh, you're gonna do a spin or are you gonna lock on? Okay, it's a spin. Honestly, surprised that there isn't a, like, test of strength where it is two guardians coming after you. And now I'm imagining, like, a super test of strength where it's, like, a normal, like, overworld guardian rather than these things. With weapons. Guardian spear and guardian shield. Let's see. Let's drop you. Just because Guardian Shield doesn't burn. Blech. At least I'm getting Guardian stuff, that's nice. 
Again, I assume that we are nearing the end of this trial because it should have only... I do not like that it is a uh, elevator. It's going to be a major one. Okay, so it should just be a moderate test. Or maybe it could be a major test. Let's see. You're mean. Luckily, you're all weapons, so I should just be able to whack you with my sword a, a lot. Oh, if that hit, that would have been devastating. And now I'll back off and let you prepare your attacks a bit more. Let's see. Well, actually... I'll use my own battle axe against you. I get a bonus D. You're gonna do the. Um, you're gonna twirly whirl at me. I can't. Uh. Okay, I missed the flurry, but I di didn't get hit. Okay, you. Your spear is not much to fear. I fear your axe more than anything. Get to the other side a bit. I picked the perfect corner. Oh, uh, you're gonna twirl the whirl? Or like, uh, spin in a circle? I'm coming for you! And now I'll use my other axe, since you'll be giving me an axe! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna let you <laughs> play that game. Because the wide sweep of the most damaging weapon axe is scary. I do spin in a circle. I wonder how that creates an updraft, but I shall not fully question Sheikah technology that is trying to kill me. Alright, that's a little bit mean. That shouldn't have hit me. Ref, I dispute! I'm using all of my Sheikah tech. Ah, uh, he was winding up. Yeah, because now you're going to be charging your attacks. Die. One hit away! One hit away. Luckily, it only ever hit me with its spears. I'm gonna assume that that was the last one for at least this section of floor. Either there's gonna be another rest section, or that's going to be it for this segment of the trial. And we'll get another upgrade. We'll see... That is it for this section of the trial. Only the higher upper trial is left. It does seem that each trial seems to take me about an hour. To the one chosen by the Sacred Blade, I commend your efforts in this trial. You are now strong enough to wield more of the Master Sword's power than ever before. Even before I reawoke? Or like, yeah, before when I used it before? Courageous hero. Chosen by the blade. Take hold of the Master Sword. And I believe this should up it to 40 damage, I believe. Hilarious that I died super early on. On my first run. And then survived Guardians... A Hinox in the dark. Oh, there's like a whole group of them up there. Neat. And a take. Do 
now we have the Master Sword to fall on, fall back on, ever the more. I still think it's a bit mean that the fairies in the rest places can run away from you. It's slightly mean. More sword power for me. Ah, you have finally returned. You look stronger than when I last saw you. The master sword you wield is now more powerful than before. Yep, up to 50. If you desire still more power and wish to retry the blade's test, once again place the master sword in its pedestal. Huzzah. But next we're going to move along here and make our way... Like, I guess up to Goron City. We're going to start here because uh, there should be a cooking pot. And we'll probably need to make some fire resistance. Like, elixirs to go on. And then, I'll probably put on my... Sheikah clothing so that I have a higher chance to grab unsuspecting Death Mountain fauna and thus be able to make even further more flame resistant da ba -da -da. even if it does mean losing out on my amazing Rito drip All right, let's see. We'll sort. Do we have any fish armored? Ah, armored porgy, armored carp, mighty carp, stelfin, hardy, hyrule, stun, uh, stamina. And let's see, bright-eyed, iron shell, riser. So it is smothering wing butterfly. Tireless frog. Doesn't look like I have many. So at least three. I need to be careful because. I need to use proper. Like, uh, monster parts. Although, um, hmm. I wonder if the fur Shard of Farash's horn could be used. It's technically like a part of something that's monster-esque, but might not be able to. But it seems to me that like the rarer the monster part, the better so Moblin Guts. Please work. <laughs> 13 minutes of fireproof. Nice. And then we have this fireproof lizard. It probably won't give us as much because we only have one of him. Well, let's see. 15 minutes, basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to just take the path on up there. And oh so hope that we don't get annihilated. Then again, this isn't the trial anymore, so we should be relatively safe. The only thing that really kind of scares me is, like, Henoxes and Lynels. Don't really fear all that much else. For a moment, I thought that sign was somebody with a weird, like, model. Uh, Dragonbone Moblin Club. I need a normal Moblin Club for that weapon connoisseur, I think. Don't think I'll be doing, like, a, all of that quest. 
Death Mountain marker number one, climbing path trailhead. I guess to let you know, you are indeed climbing Death Mountain. That seems like a... Either these are two separate NPCs walking the same path at the same time, or they actually are traveling together. Um, should I check my map, or should I go by intuition, like the original Trailblazers? A troubling dilemma. Now that I think about it, this is a volcanic road. I'd better check my map. <laughs> is it normal for magma bombs to not ring down on stop? I just don't understand the weather around here. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. Feel free to browse my wares. I have some rare ore burning a hole in my pack. Take your time looking it over and let me know what you want. Ah, interesting. I don't really think I have much use for these. So, uh, sorry, my man. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet down the road again. Kind of makes sense. I kind of like that. It definitely makes sense that a Goron <laughs> would have access to ore. Because, again, he lives on a mountain. They're kind of rock people, so they probably excavate each... Yeah, like... Yep. Like, do mining of just normal rocks for food. I hate the stalls. Don't even need to waste my equipment on these guys. A dragon bone moblin spear is I'll take. And from the looks of it, that might actually be a, yep. like, a respawning item. Oh, that's an actual motherfucker! Shit! I was gonna make a joke of, like, haha, one of these broken down ones are, is gonna come alive any moment now. Da, da, da. Huh. Let me see. My best bow is this knight's bow. That reminds me. Once I get to Goron City, should probably head back to Rito Village. And get the, like, uh, the big, big good bow remade. Alright, this is kind of weird. Uh, either somebody placed two, like, uh, Guardian models side by side... Or guardians uh, fuse together eventually. Destroy your body, leave you dead and disturbed. And now we can get poked, die, die, fiend. Oh, you died a lot quicker than I thought you would. Yeah, because I want to travel the road properly. If it was a flying guardian, I probably would have said screw it and uh, not bothered. But yeah, that thing f died really, really quick. Huh. Because those are supposed to have, like, 3,000 HP, right? So kind of impressive that I killed it so fast. <laughs> Be gone, flame keys. I almost thought I blew myself up there for a moment. 
Luckily, I did not. And plus, this is another reason why I want to actually travel the road rather than climbing my way up to Death Mountain. I get to experience things. Get knocked out of the air. Kaboom! Still don't understand why it seems to be only the electro keys that are like, I am going to fly at you after you blow me up. Yeah. Barely caught yet. You thought you were safe. Just when you thought it was safe to attack the Link. You know, I'm almost, I'm also almost surprised that there aren't like Electro, or not, not, not Electro, but I guess still then too. But like, when it comes to the keys, it's only ever like normal keys that swarm. You don't see flame keys swarming all over the place. Nor do you see Electro Keys swarming it up. I think that would be a terrifying. A ball of flaming keys just flying after you. A fireball with eyes d d desiring your soul. Like Sauron, if his eye decided to fly after people instead of staying at the tower. I think that'd be hilarious. Da -da 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 -da. The problem is I don't know if these keys are gonna mind their business or come after me. They seem to have arbitrary, like, luck on of whether or not they're gonna be a bother. Like that one. That one decided it would be a bother. How do you, how do you come to think of it, hey, red shoe jelly guys, how do you stay on fire when you're underground? And I figure, like, like just to let people know, when it comes to me just uh, activating my bombs, there is no strategy. I go by vibes. One of these days, I will blow myself up again. Also, I could have sworn that I heard the gurgling of malice. Oh, yeah, and I just remembered. We need to go and, uh... Like a new extra thing on the docket. After we get to Goron City, there's presumably going to be a shrine that we can use as our teleporter. We're going to go to Goron City, activate the teleporter. We're going to go to Rito Village, get my uh, good bow back. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, Mount Laneru because we haven't climbed it yet and there's definitely something up there. There's definitely something up Mount Laneru and I wanna go see it. This must be the second trail marker. Goron City ahead, heat level one. Non-Gorons use extreme caution. That's at least nice of them. Hope I went the wrong direction. That's at least nice of them to warn ya. Even if this is a very treacherous path, how do even the normal Gorons make it through? And now we are on fire. It appears to be that I am on fire. There's another motherfucker! Every single time I see them, I'm filled with fear.
Okay. I think this one is just having a fit. Shit. Luckily they don't have weapons. Rock, idiot. I wonder if I could, and how long. Yeah, not long. Very rude. Oh! Uh... You enjoy your lava bath. Uh, I leave. Yeah, that one is very broken. Its pathing is weird. Hey, it's just a free diamond! Hell yeah. Ah, shit. You will leave me be, Guardian. I don't want trouble with you. Because, like, ambushing you and killing you... We take time, yeah, you go home. Mostly because it's like pathing got barked a bit. It was just going back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and side to side. Ah! Wait a minute, am I just... I'm far... Oh. But I'm supposed to be fireproof because of the elixir. How dare I be lied to! Then again, I guess there's a difference between extreme heat and actually being on fire. Or is there? I feel like being a- like, I feel like lava exudes heat a bit more than just normal fire. I wonder why this is here. Why is it painted with a bullseye? Oh, there's a... There's a shrine nearby. Oh, but it must not mean much because there's another bullseye right here. I wonder what it means to the Gorons. Also another reason, uh, a good reason to just run by the, like, Guardian, is... Hmm. I think that the shrine will probably be on this little island. I probably made a huge mistake doing this. I'm gonna fall into the lava and die. Ah, just made it. Alright, so the trick seems to be use these to get across. Yeah, that's right. What do you think of me now? Take that. All normal arrows just become fire arrows out here. That's actually kind of hilarious. But yeah, if like if it's hot enough for wood to just combust, but uh, drinking an elixir makes you not combust, similar to your stu like your <laughs> wooden items. Uh, for a moment there, I thought maybe I found a way to, like, 
shove myself along with the other one, but it doesn't seem to be it. Well, no, you can kind of. It's just not consistent. Go after the bird, not me. It is honestly surprising that that bird is surviving. I don't like the look of that. I think... I don't like the look of that. I already know there's Frost Talus. So let me guess. Let's see, do you burn me if I just touch you? You do. You do set me on fire. But I want to kill you. Ah, shit. There's probably a armor set. About, like... Oh, hey, you can climb, like, or maybe just, like... You're being very rude, Igneotalus. There's only one way to kill you, and that's to like, climb you. You're being very rude, let me climb you. Quit touching me! Only I'm allowed to touch you. Take that. Worth. Even if it is just five billion flint. You kill an Igneo Talus. You get flint. You break a normal little, like, mining rock. Get diamond. I feel like the, uh... Exchange of effort is not <laughs> reciprocated. Here we are, I think. Well, this is like man Mabel. I guess technically Goron or Count is man. They are honorary man. They are dudes. And there was a flame lizard I could have grabbed, but I'm a fool. But I got another one. Death Mountain Marker 3. Southern Mine. Mine. Alright, this is just place of the fireproof lizards. Hello, dude. How are you surviving? Uh, oh, hey, perfect! You showed up at just the right time! I'm on my way back from Goron City, but I forgot to buy souvenirs. I wanted to capture some of those fireproof lizards that live here on Death Mountain, but those suckers are quick. Say, you look pretty speedy. I bet you could catch a ton. If you bring me ten, I'll give you some heat-resistant armor. Heat-resistant armor, you say? God damn it, now I have to do it. So what do you say, buddy? Help a pal out of a jam by capturing up some fireproof Ooh. lizards? I'll do it. Great, thanks, buddy. Just ten fireproof lizards should be enough. Meanwhile, I kind of also need them to cook up stuff. Mm, is he sitting on my face? And you are? Me? I'm Pallison. Name ends in sudden. Small child, go to work. <laughs> yep. Are you strong? You bet I'm strong. But my big bro Grayson is even stronger. Is this him? Nope. Boring. <laughs> my happiness is the boss's happiness, and that means it's Goron City's happiness, too. Dig, dig, and then dig some all that sell all that sweet, sweet ore. Hmm. That has nothing to do with you. Who are you? I'm Goro, head of the Goron Group Mining Company. We're digging this site out under direct orders from the boss of Goron City. No time to chat. Gotta dig. <laughs> What's Goron City? Goron City is where us Gorons live. Hmm. Just go straight down this road to get there, but as a Hylian, you better be careful not to get burned. Ooh. Need anything else? Oh. 
Oh. The reason Goron City is so prosperous is because of the work we do mm. here. I actually want to dig closer to the summit, but that lizard monster is in the way. Mm. Lizard monster? Mm. Oh, yeah, the divine beast. Yeah. You need something? What's your name? Mm -hmm. The name's Grayson. What's it to you? Name ends in sun. What about it? It's time to work now. If you want to talk, come back at night when I'm relaxed. Gotcha. All right. Make a moat. Bah! You scared me. What is it? What is this place? Take a look around. This is where we dig up ore. We call it the Southern Mine. I need to concentrate while I'm working. If you want to talk, come see me when it's night time. And I just gotta spend some time collecting all these fireproof lizards that are apparently very prosperous around here. I'm already up to seven, and I began with none. They're probably under every rock, too. They're under every rock, too. There's just so many of them. But fire resistant armor would be very handy when I'm not trying to. Have to uh, it's almost like they knew that this place would be a nightmare for normal players. So they're like, quick, throw all of the lizards around. And then they placed a guy to give you fire resistant armor right next to them, too. You rolling ball. Ooh. Hm. Hello. Oh. Hmm? Huh? Ah! Ah! Hylian! This is bad! Why? B -b because it's beyond Gorn City, they're raining down from the sky! Tons of magma bombs! I'm heading that way. What? You're gonna go? All the way up the mountain? N -n 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 no, you can't! It's not just magma bombs you have to worry about. My papa says the mountain is burning hot. It's burning, it's boiling, it's on fire. Oh, well, anyway, you get my point. It's kind of nice for the kid to worry for you. Now, how many do I have? Fifteen. <laughs> ah. Well, look at all them fireproof lizards. You actually managed to chase down ten of those suckers. Well, the deal's a deal. Hand them over and I'll give you this heat-resistant armor. Here you go. Ooh. Try not to burn on your way down. Thanks, buddy. Here, take this. It's made from fire and rocks to protect the wearer. Hmm? hmm? Something the matter, buddy? My helmet? Sorry, it ain't Linden. It's too expensive for that. You can buy your own in Goron City. To get to Goron City, head up north from here. It's the fifth stop on ah. the trail. I'm sure you'd agree, buddy, but it's always handy to have some spare souvenirs on hand. So if you come across any more fireproof lizards, I'll buy them off you for 20 rupees for three. I the, I spend like a hundred rupees per lizard at normal shops for selling. You're a nut, yeah. Or like, no, like, yeah, when normal shops like sell me lizards, it's a hundred rupees and you want to buy 20 for three? That's a ripoff. Then again, they're very prosperous here and he probably buys them at a higher rate than the normal things because if I tried to sell the lizards to the shops, they'd be like, one rupee. From YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We have fireproof armor now. And if I get my hands on some fireproof lizards and some monster parts, I can make some fireproof elixirs to boot. Damn, like, the, the last one that I made. Let's see. The last fireproof elixir I made with one gave me 15. Granted, that was all moblin guts as well. I'll definitely need to come back here at night to talk to, especially Grayson. Maybe I'll do the, like, construction company quest after all. Huh. Well, I guess we'll head on down to Goron Town. Hmm. Let me see to my armor. So that gives me one level. 
And I guess there's going to be areas where it's two levels and I need the full set. So if I see, like, any fire butterflies or anything, I'll just have to really sneak up on them. Is this worth, like, tackling? I don't think it is. They might drop moblin guts, but... Then again, I don't really need to worry too much because... Like, I can always get more, like, uh, fire-resistant lizard guys and cook them up if I really want to. I, w I guess those guys survive with their feathers acting as insulators. Because elsewise, me killing them and then... The fuck? Oh, magma bombs. Ow. So I guess when that happens, try to find an overhang and hide. I think we're almost there. Yep. Goron Town. We're almost there. Ah, raw whole turkey. And a shrine nearby. Our activation of, uh, what is it? I forget its name. I don't think I- I've never done this one. I've never even been this far into Death Mountain before. So, hey, accomplishment. Never been on this divine beast. Never been to Goron City. So here we are. It's like a, its tail is like a hammer. So is this all it's been doing? Since it woke up? Screaming up from the volcano? Causing magma bombs to fall from the sky? What a guy. And there should be a shrine somewhere up ahead. Hey, you got a rock breaker with you. I used to have one of those. I used it a lot. Well, looky here. Welcome, Master Link. How did you know? What do you mean? More importantly, I hope you made it past those magma bombs about Wintry. I only got smacked once. To be honest, we haven't had too many visitors here since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to greet the long-lost Hylian champion. <laughs> Oh, in case you didn't know, Link is the little Hylian who fought alongside the Goron champion, Daruk. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. One of these days, it's going to turn out to be like a mafia boss. Oh, hey, lizard. Where's that shrine? I guess maybe down here. This is the house of the most distinguished Goron artisan, Master Rohan. You need something? Who's Rohan? <gasps> Master Rohan says a godly blacksmith. He's responsible for keeping the ancient arts alive. Mm. He's really strict of everyone, me included. In my case, he told me to beat every Igneo Talus around Goron City as part of my training. <sighs> But I can't get to the Igneo Talus at Darunia Lake. Hey, Darunia reference. Hmm. Fully someone would go in my place. Way over there. I didn't know that, like, a rock-based creature could really get wrinkles. What are you staring at? Sorry! You're distracting me. Huh. 
I guess kind of some kind of tic-tac-toe with rocks. Ah, maybe up and away that way. If it is, I'll quickly check out the rest of the town first. Protein Palace! Because they sell high-protein things here. Oh, I didn't even talk to this guy. Or read this. Death Mountain Marker number five. Welcome to Goron City. Ooh. You're a traveler? In that case, I'll take you somewhere nice. Follow me. I might buy from you. Just don't throw me in any lava like a madman. Mm, this is it. The armor shop. Recently, something called Divine Beast Varudanya showed up on Death Mountain. Since then, it's gotten a lot hotter here. That's why we're selling fireproof armor. Seven hundred, I'll take. Ooh. And helmet. Oh, two thousand! That's a lot for a helmet. Yeah. I have the privilege of standing in ripped and shredded my armor shop. How can I tell you? Or how can I help you? Want to sell? Why do you want to sell? Let's see. Sell various random ones. Ooh. What is this place? As you can see, this here is my armor shop. Funny thing is, Gorons normally don't wear anything at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing at all. We started selling flame resistant armor for the tourists. I recommend the flame breaker boots over all else. They're made using gems mined from this very soil. As you'd expect, they give great flame resistance. Give them a try. They're the envy of famous warriors of the world over. But I guess it kind of makes sense that the helmet is the most expensive, because they have to design it in such a way that, like, it's a helmet, but also gets rid of the heat. Ah. Thank you for your business, brother. And now, I am fully resistant. Uh, probably not to lava, but a decent bit. Stay at my inn, friend. A traveler, perfect. And why don't you stay here and rest your weary head? Uh, will do. Perfect. Thanks, brother. Hey, we've got a customer coming through. Hey! I guess it kind of makes sense for Gerudo to not have as much trouble here. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Look at you, talking up a woman in the middle of the night. That's not what I... Also, is it even the night? <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Who are you? I'm Ramala. As you can see, I'm from the Gerudo region. I came for the jewels that are to be found in Goron uh. City. These days, those magma bombs are causing trouble and preventing me from working. I'm not too happy about mm -hmm. it. What is it? Have you never seen a real Gerudo before? <laughs> Aren't you hot? <laughs> Oh, well, I slathered fireproof elixir on my skin, so I'll be fine. And here I thought that I'd just drink it. If you want to buy fireproof elixirs, a little Goron brat is selling them. I suggest you buy one as well and use it. I'd pay anything to save myself from this wretched heat. Yeah. Well, well. A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. If you want to throw in a Goron massage, that'll run you 80. I, I, I didn't expect that a Goron massage would exist in this world. New to the art of Goron massage, I take it. That's okay, first time for everything, as they say. A Goron-style massage is done on top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze the tension out. But I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt one bit. Mostly, honestly, I doze off sometimes. When it's all over, you'll sleep like a rock and feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. I'll be back later. 
I want to adventure through the entire town first. Talk to the boss. Then see about things. Oh, hey, I think I need this. The Goron oh. Spice. And I'll take them all. Because I need that for a quest. I'll talk to you later. Oh. Kind of neat. Their little windows look like mines. Like mine shafts. Cobble Crusher. Oh, the, oh, they even have them on the face. How long did it take them to do all that? Ah, oh, there you are. I'm gonna head up there. And then it'll probably be just time for me to head back down to the mining area to talk to, uh... Two guys, let me see. Do I have any... I do not have any spirit orbs. Well, it's a Hylian. That's unexpected. What are you doing here, little guy? There's only abandoned mine past this point. That and lots of monsters. In other words, it's dangerous. I will go through. Right, and you, you just have, like, a smiley face cushion. For a moment, I thought that was Korra. I think that's intentionally why they did it. To really sell to you, these guys look like rocks. Don't believe us? Puts a hard hat on rocks. This place is neat, but now I'm going to head back down to the mine area. And then we'll, because uh, it should be nighttime at the mine by the time we get there. So I can tell Grayson, hey, go work there. And then talk to the other guy who was also like, hey, talk to me at night. And now I don't need elixirs. Even though out of all the elixirs, well, I guess it kind of makes sense why it's kind of super easy to get, like, all the fireproof lizards and then also get your fireproof armor. Because I guess they just wanted to make it so that, like, it didn't overly annoy players. Which I do appreciate. Because having this place be utterly inhospitable to the player would probably be a big ol' annoyance. Man, these guys don't even work a- oh wait, no, they do work a 9 to 5. Now it's the big old guy working. Yeah. Come on, I'm on break. What is it? And you are? Grayson. I don't like repeating myself, though, so just remember that, okay? I'm a digger here, as you can see, and I dig and I dig day in and day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. I feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. Well, you have the perfect name to work at a company. Is there a job out there that would let me use my strength to make a difference? There is. Hmm. Huh? There is? Where? Please tell me more. Terrytown. Terrytown? Never heard of it. What's the deal with that place? It's a town that this construction company is setting up in Akala. Hmm. Akala. Mm. Terrytown. So there is somewhere out there that needs me. Akala isn't too far from here. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. Oh. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Pellison and I are going to head there right away. 
while I'm at it. Oh. Pallison! We're gonna leave! Aww. Huh? Just going on and trust him like that. We'll have to check out Terrytown. Uh, I'm exhausted. Now I've got some time to talk, so what do you want to know? Huh. Who are you? Me? I'm Jingo. I'm a proud Goron of Goron City. If we dig up ore like this, Goron City will prosper. Everyone wins. Anything else? I don't think so. I guess you're the boss. Hmm. Who the heck have this hour? I'm a traveler. <laughs> I'll give it to you straight. My eyes don't play tricks. Picks. Actually. I've got to interrupt you real quick. You got good eyes on your little guy, honest eyes. At my age, I've seen a lot of things. I can tell you're no run of the mill Hylian just by looking at you. So go on ahead, ask me anything you want. What is this place? Well, this place here, well, as you can see, it's a mine. We make a profit from selling the ore we dig up. Our home, Goron City, benefits from our hard work. Mm -hmm. We used to be able to mine closer to the summit, but that lizard monster pushed us all the way back here. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Who are you? I'm Boren of Goron City. I was once nice, young, and strong. Now I'm old and wrinkled. But worry not, there's still a lot of fight left in me. None. Hmm. <laughs> and we have that activated. So first place first is... Rito. Ah, but it's night, so he'll probably be asleep. Guess then I could go to the Rito Inn. And sleep on a Rito feather bed. Then again, maybe he'll actually be up and be like, hey, <laughs> make me the super weapon. I guess Cass never sleeps. He just stands there. Not really menacing. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm sorry. Sure, go ahead and take it. Consider it thanks for conquering Meadow. I cannot help but notice that your great eagle bow is missing. If you want me to make another one, I will need a swallow bow, a diamond, and five bundles of wood. Uh. Looks like you've got everything ready. Should I make you a new one? Please. Diamonds are pretty tough to come by, are you sure? Yes, I have actually a lot of them. I have like 11. All right, just wait over there for a bit. Now I have Great Eagle Bow. Here you go. I made a beauty for you. Take good care of it. As good as I can, since I'm going to be using it in combat. Because it is my favorite bow in the game. Now let's see. There was one other place we were going to go, and I forget. Because we're definitely going to check out uh, Terrytown again. Since we sent a guy that way. Huh. Oh yeah, I guess I could take that away because that was for the... Da -ba -da -da. I guess I could go over there and do that as well on my way, maybe. Well, let's go to Terrytown. I wonder why it's called Terrytown. Come to think of it. Let's -a go to Terrytown. Terry Town to Terry Town, and see how it goes. Not that that there's Gorons helping them. Since we're gonna be wandering around, might as well put on my favorite drip as I walk. I now fly down to Terrytown. Now they have two buildings made. 
Ravioli's bow. Exactly. I really, really like it. High damage does a triple arrow attack. And plus, Ravali is just like one of my favorite characters. Could be that he's the bird out of all of them, but he's just neat. You motherfucker sell diamond? More and more. Hey, Big Bro Grayson's friend. Need something? Let's talk. Sure, it's since fun. What do you want to talk about? This place? Once we started breaking up the rock here, we found that it's rich in ore, so I decided to open up shop. Not sure why we have so much ore here, but maybe it's because we're close to Death Mountain. Anyway, there's here our freshly mined, but sure to buy a bold bunch. Terrytown? It's so cold here. Or maybe it's just that Goron City's too hot. Where's Grayson? My brother should be somewhere around here. He's so much happier than he was at the Southern Mine. He put, gets praised a ton for how fast he can move rocks. I'm sure that makes him extra happy. How's it working, Grayson? Oh. Hey, uh, hey, it's you. As you can see, I'm working real hard. <laughs> Hudson pays his me a ton for breaking these rocks. For fun, it's some nice ore, too. My little brother Pellison even started an ore shop. Check it out when you get a chance. Yo! Ooh. Hey, you sent some Gorons back here. That's perfect. The brute strength of a Goron is undeniable. Those boulders don't stand a chance against them. And with names like Grayson and Pellison, they'll fit right in. Also, Pellison started selling the ore found within the boulders. You should go say hello again. Well, next is... Uh-huh. So, before more people can move here, we need homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 20 bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Sure thing, my dude. I don't mind doing some yep. woodwork. How much wood do I have already? Oh, I already have enough. <laughs> oh, you have enough, Mo Howard. Hello. Did you bring 20 bottles of wood? Excellent. Can I have them? You're a lifesaver. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Working such long hours every day really wears on my clothes. Could you look for someone who's got a gift for tailoring for me? Mm. If we're talking about tailoring, there could be someone among the Gerudo who's good at that. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in sun. If you run into anyone that fits with that said, and send them here to Terrytown for me. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do some Terrytown instead. I like Terrytown. Let's go find a Gerudo. That... I do kind of like that you can just find them by their name. I've never done the Terrytown quest because they kind of skill check lock you. By having a Goron be the first person they're looking for. And I never went to Death Mountain, so I've never done this. Tartown is such a fun quest. It definitely seems like it. You get to create, like, a neat little community. Oh, and I guess I can also talk to this guy and get his sand boots. Because I found the eighth uh, warrior lady. Get back here, you bastard! You motherfucker! I want your shoes! Oh, thank goodness you made it back safely. You were gone for so long, I started to feel the worst. Uh. I have to come clean. The eighth heroine is just an urban legend. It doesn't actually exist. I, well, I just wanted an excuse to get close to you, you know? I wanted to keep you engaged, so I just thought I thought something up impossible to hold your interest. And as a result, I put you in harm's way. I'm a cad, and I've been so, so worried. I won't put you in danger anymore. From now on, I'll be your protect- Found it. Uh. Are you trying to console me because I've been so heartsick over this? You're such a kind soul. 
but no need to coddle me from now on. I'll look at this. That certainly is the way it's rumored to look. That that's amazing. I thought it was just an old wives' tale. The if heroine actually exists. If the rest of the world knew, this would be absolute bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Uh, yeah, that way it'll just be our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding thing. And yeah, if it's okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you, sand boots, please. Uh, oh, okay. Just a second, I'll take them off. Sand boots are now mine. Treat them as tenderly as you would me. <laughs> and now, could you please allow me to return my snow boots? Otherwise, old Bo's eyes going barefoot. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> I don't really need the... Because I, I feel like wandering in the sand is a bit more... I wonder where I can get my own sn snow boots. Or if that's the only way to get them. Right, we're done here. Boy, but these will make running in the sand pretty difficult. And I'm pretty tired anyway from my jogging regimen. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of Gerudo Town and take five. Care to join me? Goodbye. Huh? Oh, good goodbye. Sand boots are now mine. And now we need to find a tailor. Wait a minute. I know exactly who it is. It's the lady with the man. Like, uh, uh, uh like mannequin, I guess. I believe it's somewhere over here. It's in one of these houses. There's a lady that has like a a mannequin that she's like. Yes, you, I believe. No, no, Risa. I could have sworn that she's mentioned tailoring. Darn. Could have sworn that she was like a. Min oh no, it's somebody else. Meh. And here I'm just twisting my brain about. Pasha, Dinah. I need to find. <laughs> Just thought myself up. Thought that everything was good in my brain. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Are you exhausted from your travels, ma'am? Please consider Hotel Oasis. I recommend checking out our unique spa plan, ranked number one in ways to feel relaxed and beautiful. Relax your body and mind at Hotel Oasis. Hmm, Palma. Need to find someone whose name ends in Sun. Can't really talk to them. How about you? Stupid Vo, who needs them? <laughs> Gotta wander all over. Why are you crying back here? Oh, Vi from out of town, Savota. I wanted to plant an orchard here. I picked up trash, I pulled the weeds, I tilled the ground. I did all that stuff you're supposed to do to make the earth happy, but. But. No, the trash. All this trash keeps getting washed down into the water trough, and now I can't use the water there anymore. And if I can't use the water anymore, my orchard is doomed. Mystery polluter. Now he's been working hard on the orchard, but garbage keeps appearing in the water source. So her efforts are often not. What sort of vow, vile polluter would toss his or her garbage with such indifference? Hmm. Or it could be that it's like blowing down. Huh, we might be able to just do it instantly. Still need to look for the... Funny that they don't let you climb up a waterfall. Oi! Ravenous watermelon monster. Cease. Or I guess hydromelon. Once of you, how can I enjoy my snack if you're staring at me, huh? Buzz off! Actually, there's a little girl who wants to create an orchard and you ruin it for her. <laughs> what garbage? A small Vi's having trouble? Oh, sure, you spring this on me out of nowhere, expecting to change my lifestyle. Well, no, I don't. I do what I want. Uh? 
Ah, uh, don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. But I need something from you in return. Altruism is for suckers. Just once, I'd like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild berry and I can hold off on eating so many melons. Got it. Mm. Wild berries grow in the snowy areas in the Gerudo Highlands. Mm. It's a dangerous region, so the fruit is kind of rare and hardly ever shows up at market. Ah, now that I think on it, there's barely a point if you only bring me one. Mm. Let's see. Yes, I'll need at least ten. Immediately goes back to eating. Let's see, do I have... I do believe. Oh. I haven't been thi I haven't been thinking about trash at all. Who can think while in a melon trance? I just can't believe that rinds of tossing are such a problem. It's all organic material, right? Well, anyway, I feel bad about the little vibe, but I'm gonna need at least ten wild berries if you want me to stop. Berry delivery? Huh? Really? <laughs> Sweetness. So that's a wild berry. It's delicious and no rind to toss. What a magical fruit. <laughs> if I have these, I might just give up on other fruit entirely. Mm. But now I feel bad for the little Vi. Now that my cravings have been satisfied, I realize just how horribly selfish I've been. Shame on me. I'm going to go help clean up the trash. I've really caused a lot of trouble, but I'm going to make it right. Suck so. And maybe you can teach the... Little Vi. Like how to use the rind as like compost or something. Smod. Lena. Liana. Oh, you have a quest for me? B what? Bata didn't come back again? I'm afraid this time she went to investigate the Leviathan bones in the southwest. I tried to stop her, but obviously it didn't work because she's not here. Well, yeah. But everyone knows that the area is the domain of Maldoga, so who would figure she'd even go close to there? Ooh. Yes, nobody would dare. And not only that, but it's an extremely hot zone, so we wouldn't last long in our gear. Ooh. You... <sighs> you idiots! The scatterbrain wouldn't even realize she was walking in danger. I mean, you know that, right? Huh? Why, it was just the other day she ran off and got captured by the Yiga. Uh. I guess Barda will be Barda and you all aren't going to change. But still, why does she have to go and get in trouble like this all the time? Another quest to do at some point. Hi. Yep, sand seals, but I need to look for... Ah, you relocated down here. Very nice. <laughs> How's it going? Hey you, listen to this. Some other Vi I've never met before helped me clean up the trash. And now the water through is completely back to normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you, Saxo? Oh, I also got a hydromelon from the lady who cleaned it up. I'll share. It's a Saxo for caring about me. Thank you. Oh yeah, the lady who helped clean me g gave me some wild berries. So now my wa field is going to be a wild berry patch. You can come and eat the berries anytime you like. It'll be great. Huh, and a new quest already opened up. Dahlia's berries taste so light and airy. Guess not. Let's see, Kyra. Could be just a wandering around. One. Hello. Little Naboris is acting all calm and proper now. I wonder what happened. Anyway, it looks like I'll be getting more customers, so I've got to do my best, too. As long as you're here, why don't you see about getting another outfit in a different color? Hmm. No, thank you. Ah. Gotta wander around and find somebody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it'd be kind of funny if it was, like, locked behind, like, the secret diddly D, which is entirely possible. Oh, didn't even realize there was a chest in the trash. That's the first time I've been damaged by a chest. A golden bowl. Quick shot. Guess I'll leave that here. Hmm. And here I thought I knew exactly where that one was. Because I could have sworn... I could have sworn that I heard a Gerudo mention their tailoring skill. Oh. 
Speaking of which, the Divine Beast has gotten quiet, huh? Mm. Now that you mention it, I haven't noticed any rocking or shaking at all. Mm. I wonder if it has something to do with the Chief's heirloom uh, being returned. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it could be a Gerudo at the... Oasis. Maybe. What? I looked away once and... The guy... Oh, eh. Everyone's going crazy. The desert's just monsters and bad sandstorms through and through. They call it a wasteland for a reason. What else is a man supposed to do if he wants to meet Gruda ladies? Wasteland, here I come! What do you got in your emporium? Not all that much. I will take your arrows. Hey, you. Hmm, you look like your everyday traveler. Oh. Don't tell anyone, but I'm no merchant. I'm a Gerudo town soldier in disguise. Ever heard of the Yiga clan? They're a group of thieving bandits who caused trouble back in town a while back. Mm. We put them down, but we may not have gotten them all. I was tipped off that some of them have been ambushing travelers. That's why I'm dressed as simple a merchant. My mission is to blend in and stay on guard in case they strike. Even with their hideouts sacked, any stragglers are still dangerous. Perhaps more dangerous. Yeah, no, no, like, what's the word? Brain is, like, had a, I don't know, meh. But yeah, definitely know that, because I got ambushed once already, and they have upped their game. At first, it was just vicious sickle guys. Now it is big burly sword man and bow person. One and one, coming for me. I guess I could put on my sand boots and run after them even faster. Because I could have sworn that I ran into a Gerudo and they mentioned their sewing skills, which might actually be you and one of the traveling ones. Could be one of the traveling Gerudo. Nope, we already talked to you. I hope it's not one of the Gerudo ladies that, like, travel super far. Because I know that I talked to a Gerudo lady. Oh, it's you! It's you! Now I remember! You specifically said, like, oh, I wanted to leave so I could meet some Vo, but no one appreciates... Savak. Savak. What a cute Vi. Are you out seeking the love of your life as well? Yes. Well, good luck to both of us. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Guess I have to change. Because <laughs> I know she mentioned it before. Uh, I'm still considering how to continue my search. I mastered tailoring. I have dozens of other skills. I just don't understand what Vo are looking for. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Go to Terrytown! Eh? What is it? So abrupt, too. Let me hear the details. Terrytown is a burdening community, and they need a tailor whose name ends in son. A Hudson in Terrytown needs a tailor. It's something, I suppose. The Akala region is kind of far away, but maybe I need to travel. I'm getting far away from a village full of Vi. <sighs> but it's not like I'm accomplishing anything staying here. I can continue my search in Terrytown. Thanks for all the information. I'm gonna go home and pack up a huge bag. It'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll no doubt see you again in Terrytown. Oh! I think I know exactly the, like, uh... More than likely, like, this is going to be like the... Like, each one of them is gonna be like, oh... Terrytown needs this kind of person. To help with the village. And I think I know who the Rito is going to be. The Rito is going to be the son of the general store. Because he, like, every time we talk to him, he's like, I want to set up a shop of my own. I don't want to just help out or inherit. I want to make it myself. So more than likely, when we get to the Rito like recruitment they're gonna be like we need somebody to help set up a general store 
because a general store will help us uh, submit our community more. And they're like, go find someone. And I'll know exactly who to get. No idea who the uh, Zora one will be, though. And they might even want me to recruit a Hylian, too, because... There's a... Uh, that one, that one, there's three more that need to be opened up. Oh, what is this? Desert Vo Spalders. Vo version. Interesting. Let me read. Gerudo made trousers for men sold rarely by Gerudo te retailers. Sapphire is used in their creation, which harnesses the power of cold ice to make the heat more tolerable. Armor for males sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. It contains sapphire, which honestly, yep, yep. Gerudo made armor for males sold rarely. Mm -hmm. Ronson Armor Boutique. Vasak. Did you need me for something? <laughs> Savak. <laughs> yes, yeah, Savak. That is correct. <laughs> uh, do you, don't you remember me? I'm Ronson. I've had to mend Hudson's work clothes every single day. It's impressive how quickly he wears them out. Mm -hmm. Besides the holes, they reek so much of sweat. It's actually pretty rough to work on them. I tried to bring it up with him, but he got defensive almost immediately. You know, I came out here to continue my search for a husband. I wonder if he's the only kind of vo I'll find. <laughs> I might have to sell some stuff to you if I can, and maybe buy that vo armor, because that looks nice. Ooh. Hey, you found someone from Gerudo Town. Thank you. She was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty, uh, amazing. And since her name is Robson, I have no objections. I hear she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. Mm. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Uh, so before we, more people can move in here, we need more homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 30 bundles of wood? I have like 18. I'll get right on that. But I do like that this kind of takes advantage of the open world aspect of the game to a degree. Because you kind of travel around, meet different, like specifically go to the different areas. And since you're going there for the Divine Beasts, it's kind of neat to go and just like see all of them. And then also, like, if you start this quest, you can kind of, like, pay attention to their names and be like, you're going to be important later. From YouTube chat. Hey, Neon, did you see the Sonic Movie 3 trailer? That I did. It looks pretty cool. Like, Keanu Reeves' uh, like take on Shadow is pretty, pretty nice. Still think that, uh, uh, Carrie's Dr. Eggman is a little yep. off, but... That's mostly just because I'm used to so, like, the other kinds of, like, Eggmans and Robotniks. I wonder how it's uh, going to actually go if they're hiding, like, Amy or Rouge in there. And just haven't, like, shown them off since I think this is the first real trailer. Because I think they might have had a... Oh, the Yiga Clan has come for me. What is even the point of that? Ow. Oh, did lots of damage. But yeah, the trailer was pretty nice. Oh, that's a decently good weapon. But in the end, it'll just like, uh... It'll be interesting to see how it overall comes out. If they have anything unique up their sleeves. It is kind of interesting like how it's already deviating from Sonic Adventure 2. So it'll just be interesting to see what else they do. Yep. Yep. Granted, I haven't seen the other like Sonic movies just yet. I really should. I've heard good things. Especially, like, uh, 
after they, in the first one, the first trailer came out with the horrible, horrible version of the model that they used for Sonic, and then fixed it, but at the cost of the production studio that did the, like, anim like a uh, 3D stuff, which is a little disappointing. Visual effects companies deserve better, I feel. Feels like they really do get mistreated a lot. But funny enough, like, even though I haven't watched the movies yet, I do know about, like, uh, I think in the first one, there's an original character that's, like, I suppose Sonic's adopted, like, parental figure, who's a bird, who has a nice design. So that's kind of neat. And if I recall from listening to the trailer, they also used, like, motifs from a lot of Sonic songs from that era, like Crush 40 songs, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Jim's also playing Professor Gerald as well, which is a little odd. Wasn't expecting that. I thought Gerald, like, that also throws it something at you, unless it's also like a, a bait and switch. Like, oh, he's alive when, I don't know, maybe he's a robot. Maybe he's a Doombot. Here's 30 bundles of wood. Excellent. Can I have them? You're a lifesaver. Mm. Well, next is... It's finally starting to look like a town around here. Which is exactly why we need to set up some distribution. I'd like to get a general store up and running, but there is no one with the connections and qualifications to run it. Do you think you could find... Keep an eye out for someone who knows about distribution and can run a general store? So a traveling trader? Mm. Oh, that's a good thought. Rito can fly around, so they should be able to retrieve and deliver supplies. Good luck, you'll need it. That seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. In accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in son. If you run into anyone that fits that, I've said uh, what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. And we know, well, presumably, I didn't pay attention to his name, but I do know... There is a Rito that wants to start his own general store in the Rito village. And come to think of it, so far each one has a, a similar, like, beginning. Like, Grayson was in the mine outside of Goron City, just like a little bit. Then there was Rodson, who was at Karakara Bazaar. And then there was, uh, like this guy, who's at the very beginning of it. <laughs> I love stories. Tell me about it. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest, when suddenly he saw a huge snow-white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow-white birdie, and as he got a little closer to the white birdie, grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. It was a shrine. The hero who found the shrine defeated the bad guys and saved the princess. Well, we haven't gotten to that last part just yet. <laughs> And they all lived happily after after. And considering there's a sequel, that doesn't happen yet either. <laughs> I told the whole story by myself perfectly. Let's see, does your name end in son? Fison, you do. You fit. Oh. Hey, what's up? My mom is getting on my last nerve. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Mm. I don't want to compete with Mom. I wish there was a place I could set up my own shop. Heard of Terrytown? Terrytown? Tell me more. Yeah, just like all the way over there. 
Oh, so they're in need of a general store. That's perfect! But the Akala region, that's pretty far out there. But I guess I've got to leave the nest someday. And ha to have my own store. <laughs> okay, I made up my mind. I'm going. I know, I'll gather some items on my way to Terrytown. And then sell them at my new shop. Uh... Thanks for the tip. And hey, don't be a stranger. Come visit me at my new home sometime. I just really like the Rito. I just really like their designs. The Rito are just fantastic. And now we'll teleport back. They'll presumably need a Zora. Not because they need a Zora, but because we're going to get there, and they're going to be like, we need somebody to do this thing. And then it's going to end up being a Zora. Or maybe, or maybe it'll be like a, a bait and switch. Entirely could be. My brain just made the funny joke, like, what if Sidon, his name was a bit different, and you're like, hey, <laughs> important story character, go live in Terrytown. I think that'd be funny. And plus, this place is really good for defense against uh, invading enemies, since they have a bridge. So a variety of things here. Bomb arrows. Normal arrows. What arrows do I need? I guess I'm pretty stocked up. I guess they haven't finished your uh, home yet. Slippery Falcon. Terrytown Branch. Ah, Keeping the name up. Hey! Oh, hey! What can I get you? Hey! Hey! It's been a while! <laughs> Remember me, Fison? After I left Rito Village, some bandits tried to mug me. Lucky for me, they didn't have wings. Terrytown is really great. Nice weather, no moms to annoy me. <laughs> it's really great being able to run my own shop and sell things I want to sell. Anyway, I open for business, so shop to your heart's content. <laughs> An old lady. Oh, hello. And who might you be? <laughs> Just a traveler. Oh, is that so? By the way, I don't suppose you came to Terrytown to purchase a holiday home, did you? That's right. Oh, is that so? Anyway, please be careful. My husband is taking great care of this area, but there seem to be a lot of strange folk just outside of town. I guess we're talking about Yiga clan, since I did get mugged out there. Oh. Hey. You managed to find a Rito and bring him back here. Thank you. He wasted no time getting a general store up and running. Apparently his family runs one too. And with a name like Fison, it'll fit right in. He's selling things that he's picked up while flying around. You should really go check out the store. Well, next is... So before we can call more people here, we need even more homes from them. Can you bring me 50 bundles of wood? That's gonna take so long. If you bring me that, you can combine with... Well, I can combine what I've got and get them started on new houses. Do I even have an axe for proper smacking? Well, I guess I do have like a like a vat axe, but I don't want to use that. Guess I'll just do my normal bomb. But it's nice that this place is coming together. I guess for, like, proper, like, uh, woods gathering, we should go to Hatino Village and begin the deforestation proper. And then Terrytown will be up and running before you know it. Would be... <laughs> My brain is telling me that 
after we get, like, presumably the Zora, we're gonna have to, like, go and... Oh, just delay deforestation there. But, like, uh, after we get the Rito, we're gonna have to give him, like, a hundred bundles of wood. It's going to be maddening. Into the forest we go. To just start bombing things. Major problem. Uh, well, I guess technically a major problem. So we'll have to deal with uh, Bacoblins. I guess I could try and use the Master Sword for. Why is there a white one? Get out of here. Oh, Jesus, you do a lot of damage. How dare. You do a lot of damage and combos. I haven't actually, like, fought one of these guys, like, proper-like, ever. Get smacked, idiot. There's so many enemies. Baga off. I don't want to deal with enemies. I I just want to get my wood. I just want wood. Why is the forest full of enemies? Now I have to go around smacking down trees. Oh, I think they actually... Did they give up? No. Well... <laughs> the skeletons are still after me. Up and up looks like some of them are still after me too. How dare you. I wonder why Korok leaves fall from normal trees. <laughs> from YouTube chat. Hello, sorry I'm late. No problem at all. We're just doing a bit of deforestation because we need to get a lot of uh, wood for Terrytown. See, how much wood do I even have? I need 50. This is gonna take so long. Let's see. What do I what, what am I willing to sacrifice for this? I guess like this simple guardian sword. Alright, let's just, I'm just gonna use my edge of duality to one-shot this guy, because I just want to get these woods. Yiga clan Y. Get out of here. Uh, 
Let's see. Now I can use this against you. Get out of here. Hey, you better run away. Maybe this lower forest will be less evil. And I just realized this is the first time that we've had rain this stream. Granted, like... It's probably the places that I've been. Because I probably went to, like, I went to Zora's Domain first. So that was probably why the, like... Kind of a rainy region. Oh, hey, an axe. Perfect. After I kill these guys, I can use an actual axe for axing. But yeah, meanwhile, the last two places that I've really been going to have been the Gerudo Desert and Death Mountain. Places that don't really rain all that much. Although I guess you could technically say that Death Mountain rains magma bombs. But these last few streams, I just haven't been running into that many, like, rain situations. It's kind of nice not having to worry about the rain getting in the way of all my things. More wood. More wood for me to give to the man. You know, I traded like... I forget how much, but a lot of bundles of wood. To get a hefty discount on a house. It was normally 50,000. Got it down to like... Three. This guy's just like, get me a similar bundle of wood amount. I wonder what that Why is there a pot in the tree? I'm curious. Why pot and tree? Korok is the reason. I do believe we just need a bit more in terms of bar. Yep. So I guess going back to my bombing shouldn't be a terrible method. Since we only have a handful more bundles that we need. And I guess in other news, while deforestation happens, I got into the deadlock like uh beta, or alpha, or, or like, the, the test. Because, uh, Valve is finally making a new game. And it is a MOBA hero shooter. And it's actually pretty fun. I have yet to play against actual people, because actual people terrify me. But it is quite fun. and finish off this wood. And now we have over 50. So back to the Akala region with us. <laughs> the things you can do atop small trees are limited, but they have their uses. Use them to scout an area with your scope. I don't really think getting on small trees would really help that much. Mountains and stuff is far better. Uh, kind of lightning-y. Luckily, my great eagle bow, not conductive. Now down we go back to Terry Town. 
is the rain foreshadowing Azora. Oh, we even have a dog now. He's a dog. Ooh. Hey, did you bring the 50 bundles? I brought them. Excellent. Can I have them? Sure. Hmm. You're a lifesaver. I actually wanted to talk to you about something a little personal. What's wrong? Well, I'm not that kind of personal. I actually got engaged. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. To who? To Rodson. Well, I guess good for her. <laughs> what a surprise. You say that, but for some reason I think you mean the opposite. Anyway, we want to have a little ceremony to celebrate. Ah, uh, I know exactly who I need to get. And he's a Zora. <laughs> but we need some priest-like to certificate. Could you look for someone priest-like for us? Priest-like, huh? If we're looking for people devout enough to have a priest-like person, I suggest a Zora. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in son. Even him? He's not even going to work for you. He's just going to officiate your wedding. If you run into anyone that fits with that, I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. Well, luckily, he actually asked me himself if we found anybody. I probably should have talked to Rodson and be like, hey, congratulations. Link was gone so long he got engaged. And from YouTube chat, hell, hi, hello, hello. We're doing Terrytown just because we finally found the Goron whose name ends in Sodden. <laughs> Shocker, he was lived up in G Death Mountain, so we didn't get him yet <laughs> for the longest time. Took us forever. Well, let's see if the guy, the priest guy, actually does have a name that ends in son. I wasn't paying too, too much attention to his name. Should be you also. Why are you just down here? Good morning. After we last met, my darling gave me a big scolding. He said I shouldn't go wandering about anymore for a while. <sighs> I suppose that's only fair. <laughs> you did make him worry. And you did go all the way down to Lake Hylia. Oh, Capson. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor, one I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and I shall be fulfilled. <laughs> Get a load of this! I've been waiting to hear those words. Now please, tell me the specifics. Uh, down in Terrytown. As for the location, hmm. Terrytown in Akala. Akala isn't too far from here. It would please me to hurry there right away. By yourself? <laughs> no need to worry about me. I've always had confidence in my fins and feet. It's been a long while since I've had work. I'm eager to put my skills to good use. You should come as well. I will start my preparations in Terrytown in the meantime. Neat. <laughs> From YouTube chat, I'm playing Pokemon Ranger, the original I just found Grovile. Neat. I need to play Pokemon Ranger. Not sure if I could stream it, mostly because I'd have to emulate it because I don't have a good way of capturing a, f like, DS or 3DS. So, <laughs> holding a controller in one hand and, a s like, my computer mouse in the other would be an interesting stream experience. But I have, like, always wanted to experience the Ranger games. I've heard good things about them. At least I think I did. They're kind of in that area of niche Pokemon game that I've heard that people like. And apparently I think there's like three of them. I thought there were only two, but I also like at one point heard that there's like a third one. I forget. My memory is shot.
Hey, they even set up a whole thing. Huzzah! I'm all done breaking the rocks. I was told to stand here. Was something supposed to happen? I honestly don't know. Hey. You found a Zora? Thank you, really. And I talked earlier, and he said that he, he was, literally was a priest before he retired. You can't get more priest-like than that. And his name is Capson, so I have no objections there. It really is amazing that you were able to find someone priest-like who also had an acceptable name. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Of course, we'll have to invite guests in order to hold a ceremony. <laughs> guests? Well, I'm talking about my boss, Bolson, and my subordinate, Carson. I see. However, I've got to prepare for the ceremony, so my hands are full. Could you invite them for me? Uh, of course. Oh. You're a lifesaver. Excellent, I'm counting on you. At least I didn't need to get a hundred <laughs> bundles of wood. <laughs> too many circles for Pokemon Ranger. And yes, three. Haha, <laughs> my memory's not too shot. Vasak, did you need something from me? <laughs> Zavak. <laughs> you should have said Zavato now. <laughs> Oh, maybe you've already heard, but Hudson and I are engaged. Congratulations! <laughs> Sucks so. Hudson isn't all that great at things besides his chosen profession, but I guess that isn't a huge deal, is it? You should talk to him if you want to know more. I like how Terrytown has come out. <laughs> There's just a, a little donkey. Well, off to Hatino to invite the two others to Terrytown. So there can be a full-on wedding at Terrytown. I think this might have had, like, a bit more impact for me if I started with Death Mountain. Like, it makes sense for them to start with the Goron, because they're like, ah, oh, we need somebody to help with the moving of boulders and construction and stuff. But the problem is, getting to Death Mountain early is kind of a... Like, a uh... ba what's the word? Kind of a big, like, oh, run away, fool. Like a scary thing. Hi. Morning there. Ah. Oh, yeah, thanks for the big purchase. Seriously, though, well done. Why a kid like you get that kind of dough? Adventuring. Pain. Thanks to you, I'm getting a plum bonus. Me and my girlfriend are gonna grab a tasty meal. Mm. Morning. Mm. Wait, what? Oh. Hudson's getting married? And he wants me to attend the wedding? Wow, good on him. Okie do, I'm in. Wedding time, baby! Not like there's anything to do here anyway. Well, I guess I'll get packed and head toward Hudson's place. <laughs> Please. <laughs> This'll be fun. Okie do. Oh. Carson, we're heading out. Oh. Finally! We've been waiting for this day. I like this little piano that plays on each of these. It's just nice. I also do find it just amusing that they just <laughs> sit outside my house eternally. <laughs> They're like, we were going to destroy this place, but you know what? After you bought it, we're just going to sit outside forever. I was almost half expecting it to be raining when I teleported here a third time. It's like the Akala region is just a hellscape of rain. I almost kind of wish that there was a shrine at the, like, base of the Terrytown Bridge. Just so I could actually walk the bridge each time. Instead of just teleporting to that shrine and flying down. Oh, do I have an in? I would assume that because of the 
Captain Ladies. Looks like everyone's getting here. Good morning! We're here, talk to Hudson, and let's get this ceremony started. Hi. Morning! I just met F. Hudson, so now I'm feeling pretty relaxed. Uh. That reminds me, have you met F. Hudson's fiance? <laughs> I've seen her. She's a real beauty. Oh. Apparently she's an amazing tailor too. All those clothes she sells, she makes them herself. You know, my girlfriend also works in clothing shop, although it's her father making all the clothes they sell. I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, what's the deal, you're... I'm a traveler. I normally don't have time to mingle with commoners, but I have a feeling about you. I'll make an exception this time. Your clothes, I'm guessing you're a little hard on cash, am I right? Uh, at this time, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. So, for the down payment, I'd say a hundred rupees sound fair. A down payment? I don't care about the details here, take it. Hand! <laughs> so you accept then? Excellent! Now listen to what I have to say. The Torren wetland lies to the west of here. You're aware there are guardians there, not just one either. <laughs> Two of them! You know how dangerous they are. So, Sonny Boy, I'd like you to find and wallet both of them in Torren wetland. Then come and see me. I think he just sent me to die. With my Once my Master Sword recharges, I should be able to smack him something but good. Is this just going to be an old person retirement village? I thought you were the same old lady. Oh no, you're an old guy. Good morning. Well, what do we have here? Looks like we have another youngin in town. Who are you? I'm called Moggs. My son has grown up and I'm retired, so when I heard a rumor about Terrytown, <laughs> I just had to move here. And I'm glad I did. My pets seem much happier here too. Anyway, come back and chat with me again sometime. They accidentally created a retirement village. A hundred rupees for two guardians. I think it's more that, uh... It's, uh... I'll, uh he said it was a down payment. So I think it's more... Here's a hundred rupees. Kill them and come back for more. Yeah, Link, are you in need of a good sleep and a hearty meal? Yes. I thought so. Thanks to the benevolence of the goddess highly, I can offer you a place to stay. Hmm. Ah, but no, never mind. Thank you. Kind of nice. <laughs> An inn that I can use for free, apparently. Oh. Hey. You extended my invitation for me. Thank you. Now then, Carson and the boss, Bolson, are waiting for things to begin. Shall we start the ceremony? Of course. Understood. Then let's join the gathering. I find it kind of funny that they wait for my go-ahead for their wedding. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I kind of sort of helped them build this place single-handedly. Oh, they even have a nice outfit for <laughs> Rodson. <laughs> <laughs> Silence, please, everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Rodson in matrimony. And Bolson's just lying on the ground. Hudson, before the eyes of these witnesses and before those of the goddess Hylia, do you take Rodson to be your wife, to have and to hold in good times and in bad? I do. Excellent. And Rodson, before the eyes of these witnesses and before those of goddess Hylia, do you take Hudson as your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health? And do you also vow to name your children in accordance with the force of construction? <laughs> Naming guidelines. <laughs> Bolson just controls them all. Wait a moment. Those vows are not traditional by anyone's standards. What makes you say that? Mama. They're as traditional as it gets. I don't think it, she means traditional in that sense of the word. <laughs> a vow of undying tradition. <laughs> and a vow of guideline compliance. Terrytown is a sitcom. I'll take that vow. <laughs> Think of the future generations. 
<laughs> well, those are the guidelines. I do. Excellent. <laughs> <coughs> and so, dearly beloved, please help me in greeting this newly married couple. I wish this new couple nothing but the utmost happiness as they set out on this journey of marital bliss. I'm almost surprised Terry Town isn't named something ended in in uh, sun. It was a shining beacon in an otherwise dark, dangerous world. Rodson was a little taken aback by a few of the vows, but everything worked out fine in his perfect compliance and forcing construction's guidelines. It's only polite to give your blessing to the lovely couple who just vowed their undying love, so go talk to Hudson. Their undying love and their undying <laughs> compliance to the Bolson Construction Company. Oh. Hey, uh, I was just standing around when a wedding started out of nowhere. It took me by surprise. Mm. I've known Hudson for ages, and he never said a word about it. Can you believe it? Uh, uh, well, it was a nice wedding ceremony, so I guess all is well that ends well. Mm. Hey there. The bride and groom were so lovely, weren't they? Indeed. Mm. Love. It's such a sublime, precious thing, you know. My best wishes to the couple. Now that the wedding's over, we should probably head back to the Tino village. I didn't get to talk to him. Well then, uh... Carson, we're going home. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One guideline to rule them all, says Twitch chat. I wonder if that means that I could have just left them here in Terrytown forever. I think that would have been amusing. Oh, oh hey, what can I get you? Hey. Mm. What an awesome wedding. Hudson is a stand-up guy and Rodson is a real gem. They're perfect for each other. I wonder if my mom and pop were like that back in the day. I don't think they were as <laughs> compliant to the Bolson Construction Company guidelines. <laughs> Vasak. <laughs> Sabak. <laughs> yeah, Sabak, that's correct. Mm. The wedding ceremony wasn't what I expected, but it was special all the same. Did you like the dress? I made it myself. <laughs> no kidding. Although Hudson wanted me to weave the Jimsy mind into it, so every step down the aisle was a struggle. Well, that's life for you, with all its twists and turns. I hope you'll stick with us through them. Hey, it's you. Thank you for attending the ceremony. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And now Terrytown looks like a real town at long last. This is all possible because of you. I can't thank you enough for all your hard work. All right, this is for you. Three diamond! Hell yeah! These were found inside the boulders we smashed when we were clearing land. Rodson and I have no use for them. You can take them. From the ground up, complete. <laughs> and so is Terry Town. I've never done this quest before. This is very, very nice. It's very funny, too. And I think this is, like, the only main place that has, like, one of each like major race in Hyrule as far as I'm aware we got the Zora Inn the Rito General Store some Gorons Gerudo Taylor it was very nice and all just like sudden and random I did not set out to do Terrytown but we found Grayson and I'm just like you know what let's go and do it and here we are we did Terrytown Ooh, I wonder what the adventure log has to say. <laughs> Hudson and Rodson are happily married, and Terrytown is enjoying great prosperity. As a sign of appreciation for bringing the town together and as compensation for your work, Hudson gave you a hefty amount of gems that were unearthed during the town's construction. You wish the couple eternal happiness before heading on your way. It's very nice. Now the question, and again, just did not set out to do Terrytown. We just found Grayson. Just like, well, we might as well do the rest of them. 
I think the only major complaint I have for Terrytown is that I kind of wish that, like, you could do Terrytown a little bit easier, like, as you do the main quest, which I guess I could have. So that I could, like, uh, like, I probably could have gone to, like, Death Mountain, at least up to here, relatively early-ish, maybe? Because I probably could have found, like, uh, some of the butterflies and the lizards and survived the fire to get there. But there's just something intimidating about, ah, you catch on fire once you cross, like, this line. You cross here, you start catching into fire and flames. So it's always set me off, or like, uh, put me off ever doing Death Mountain, like, super early. Which is funny, because that's where the first Terrytown guy is. Because yeah, Terrytown, I think, would be very nice if it's, like, one of those quests that you could do. Or, like, it's more encouraged to do along with the main quest. So you go to a settlement, you find someone whose name ends in Sun, and they have a job that could be done in Terrytown. <laughs> it's just hilarious that my order of things... Death Mountain was last, so I could then just do Terrytown all in just one go. Well, let's see. We also did the middle sword trial. Did a few quests down there. <laughs> Found the eighth warrior. But I think that that will be it for now. We've been going for about three hours. And we did Terrytown, got to Goron City. Next time, we can open up with Goron City and see about finishing the final Divine Beast. And then maybe do some more quests that'll pop up here. Maybe go and do the quests in Gerudo Town so that we can get the Thunder Helm. And then... Like, I think that might be it, really. Because I don't think there are that many quests that I really super care to do too much. Like, Weapon Connoisseur is kind of eh. <laughs> Maybe Hobbies for the Rich. Kill the two Guardians. But otherwise, after we do Death Mountain, and then I guess the final Trial of the Sword... We might just end the game. Depends. If anything activates. Because it's entirely possible that if we do the final Guardian Beast, something might just pop up and be like, Ah, things to do, fool. Entirely possible. But that was a very fun quest. Even if I do think the, hey, gather 50 bundles of wood, a little extreme. Ever so slightly extreme in terms of number of wood. But still, a lovely, lovely line of quests. It's just very nice. But I guess that that will be that for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard. And if you want other things from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, with direct links in all the bios, descriptions, and link places of the various sites, has links to everything that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming Twitch or streaming YouTube channel, depending on your prevalence, as well as... Like, uh, all of these streams are uploaded to the streaming YouTube for posterity and better quality. And then also in my link tree are links to sites where I upload art to, similar to my little character in the corner, as well as the end slate to these videos. And then I also have a few sites that I upload some writing to, because writing is fun. And then finally in my link tree is linked my Patreon, a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. 
about years, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. Bye.